seem to be Ryan Murphy's uh, costume muse. What's that like? Um, like I'm the luckiest girl in Hollywood? <laughs> no, Ryan and I met on Popular in 1999. And um, just it's worked out. We kind of worked together well. Yeah. And then Pose seems to be like the, the cultural breakout hit of the year. Like, how did you approach making some of these costumes? We did a ton of research and had uh, Ryan hired consultants who had been at the balls during the 80s, 90s. So we had a lot of support there because we really did want to tell the story correctly and make sure that it was represented in the best and most accurate light. So research and consultants. So what was like one of the hardest costumes to put together? I don't know if there's a specific costume as much as um, as an entourage, as a group, to make them each have their own distinct flavor and look, and then for every day on the street, making sure that they looked real and not styled for TV. That was the big thing. So we studied a lot of street photography from that era, so we could really try to get that realness. And then for the... Uh, the hardest part truly was on the ball days with the 250 extras per day with four changes each to mold into the background yeah. and be also grab Brian would pick, pick people out and throw them in front of the camera so you had to make sure that every single extra had a good look. Uh, and then, so how did you get into like making Billy Porter's character, pray tell? Well, a lot of the direction comes from Ryan Murphy. So Ryan definitely uh, wanted that over-the-top MC look, but uh, not too theatrical in the beginning to just kind of start slow and build up. But then Billy's personality comes through, and Billy loves clothes and fashion, and so we would have a lot of fun in the fittings. And, and playing with Billy in those fittings, it, it, you could see Pray Tell start to come out. And then um, season two, is it done or are you guys working on it now it's wrapped yep we have uh it's one more two more episodes to air uh, and then so how has like billy's uh shall we say his his entrance onto the scene even though he's been here working for years but from when post started to now like how would you say his his, his uh flair has did it change his character for season two or no, we pretty much stayed the same there. We, we did like ebb and flow with what he was going through if he was having a hard time. His clothes didn't quite show the glamour that they normally did because he just didn't have the energy to put it together. But his, his, his arc in costumes didn't change much. Um, but when I first met Billy in that first fitting, he, had, he was in kinky boots, so I knew who he was. But what I love is where he's gone since the show aired and the attention he's getting. It's just, I'm just so thrilled for him. And what he's doing on the red carpet and on magazine covers is breaking, is shattering the glass on fashion everywhere for men. And then what would you say is your favorite Billy look over the past year? On, on the show. On the show. Um... I think my favorite goes all the way back to the pilot episode. We found this amazing yellow trench coat that, that buttoned um, double-breasted and high uh, 30, uh, 40, that, 80 style. And then we happened to find a matching yellow and black two-toned shirt with the yellow taxi cab hat that I found on a dusty heap of a pile in an antique store. And it just magically came together, and he loved it. And it was one of the very first things he, we tried on him. And we were like, there is uh, Pray Tell. Uh, and then, so what went into picking the costumes for this exhibit? Well, in all honesty, Anna Lucia was in New York fi uh, filming the finale, and I was here shooting Pose and Boys in the Band, and we were both so frazzled when they when they said, could you display something? And of course we want to, we always love being a part of this event and they do such a great job. So we're just like whipping through our photos, going, what, what, what's accessible? What can we get quickly and get somebody to the warehouse way up in wherever it was, I can't even remember, across the water, to the storage units to dig through the boxes and find the pieces. So we had a group of pictures and said, if you can find any of this, find it. So. This is what, and we wanted it to, to display both ball and streetwear, so. And then, 
if you had to pick one costume out of all the shows you've worked on as like your crowning achievement, what would you say it is? Um, it would be something Electra was in in like the first or second episode when we were also just finding Electra. Yeah. One of her great big long dresses with all the feathers would probably be one of my favorites, like the blue, or there was a, a, a yellow YSL inspired huge cape that just billowed when she walked. And then if you were to cross over characters from any other Ryan show to pose, woo. Oh. Who, like, what two characters do you think would get along or, like, be the best worst enemies? Well, we did have Evan on, uh, but he was so lovely. Yeah. I would say, um, oh, you know who would cross over really well would be Myrtle Snow. She would be the fast, she would hit that, she would hit the uh, uh, dance floor in a major manner. Um, and... Maybe, oh, this is a tough one. Um, oh. I was thinking I, someone from like Scream Queens. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Emma yeah. or Billy Lord. And, yeah, one of the uh, one of the Chanel's. Yeah. Oh, claw. Yeah. How about all the Chanel's? All the Chanel's. All the yeah, Chanel's on Pose season three. Yeah, in posing. Yeah. They would love it in all their fur. <laughs> and then what's your favorite... Uh, Part of the exhibit, not including Pose. Well, I did walk through, and was my mind was blown. Um, it might be, you know, I worked for Prince for a few years, so when I saw that, it brought back a lot of memories. Uh, Michelle's work on Blackish, that's really amazing. And of course, well, you know, how do you even, you know, that old rag over there, it's like phenomenal. It takes my breath away. But I love everything, and, and I know most of the designers, and I'm just, just thrilled with all their work all the time. Always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you cool. so much.